Sky Bet League One fixture against Shrewsbury Town. Shrewsbury currently sitting in the second on the table. Uh, the last five league fixtures, they've won three, however, they've lost two as well. Um, both of their defeats coming at home. Uh, they lost on Saturday to Rotherham United. Gillingham obviously continuing a good run of form. Out of our last six, we've won three, drawn two, and only lost to one, which was to Wigan. Uh, on the weekend, played against Walsall, drew 0 0, which we deserve to win. I think we, have, we created more of the chances. But obviously, it's going to be a tough game today. Obviously, Shrewsbury have been near the top end of the table for the majority of the season. Obviously, sitting in that first, second, or third place. Um, obviously, Blackburn won last night, which is why they're currently sitting second. But obviously, a win will push them back to the top of the table, which they will want to do. But obviously, like it's going to be a tough game. Um, Steve Lovell's also said before the game that about resting some players because he reckons, obviously, due to tiredness, that our players obviously sort of slacked a bit on Saturday's performance. But obviously, looking forward to today's game, I think it will be a tough game. Obviously, with a good away form that we're in, I think we might be able to come away with a good point tonight. So I'll see you guys up there. Come on, you Jills. Team news for today's game. It looks unchanged. Uh, Thomas Holy, Luke O'Neill, Max Aimer, Gabriel Zakawani, Ben Nugent, Connor Ogilvy, Mark Byrne, Jake Hesson Tyler, Callum Riley, Josh Barker and Tom Eves. Uh, looks like it'd be the three at back again with O'Neill and Ogilvy playing out wide as wing backs. Uh, on the bench we've got Hadlock, Garmston, Musa, Wagstaff, List, Wilkinson and Martin seems to be back from injury so it'll be interesting to see if he comes on. Uh, still no change, uh, still no changes for quite a while from the lineup, and I think it'll be a strong side obviously the way we played on Saturday obviously we were slacking in some areas but against a tough side like this I think we'll put out a good performance and let's hope the Jills get the win. Come on you Jills.
half time it's Shrewsbury 1, Gillingham 0 obviously they created their goal they've had a couple of chances as well but none that's been too threatening um, the referees had a bit of a shock over making some awful decisions one of the balls they kicked wide he gave a corner for that uh, with a foul on the keeper as well which wasn't given but apart from that um, apart from their goal we have been quite well attacking they just can't get the goals uh, or a shot away but They've, the keeper, their keeper's done quite well to be fair but I think we should come out and be able to bounce back in the second half so let's hope Jill's come out hopefully bounce back and try to get on a point if not get a win against what is a strong side come on you Jules. scoring a cracking goal for us uh, overall that second half we put out a great performance and deserved a well earned point put a good fight up against them um, yeah you can see why they're second place they do play a good style of football but they didn't prove too many threats to be fair against us um, one thing I noticed about them is they like playing the ball along the floor quite a lot 
and passing it. I think that's where that catches a lot of teams out to be where they are in the league. Um, because obviously a lot of teams nowadays just hoof it when they can. Whereas Shrewsbury today, to be fair to them, played it along the floor at every opportunity they could. And he was always looking for a man. So you can sort of see why they're in the position they are. But yeah, obviously he played quite well. Um, obviously creating a lot of attacks and a lot of threats. Their keeper done quite well, to be fair, positioning wise. He's always trying to make sure he's in the right place to get the ball. Holy made a few great saves as well in that second half to uh, keep us in the game. Obviously, they had a few dangerous attacks. Uh, one was cleared off the line as well by the looks of it. But yeah, obviously, played well. Obviously, second place. And there's a good point for us. Obviously, I said at the start of the video, I think I'll be happy with the point today, which we got. Moving on to Saturday, we got Berry away. And obviously, after today's performance, I think it's a very winnable game. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make that game, so there might not be a video for this weekend. Um, but yeah, obviously, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in my next video.